Welcome to today's land auction via auction cast, the most informative method to buy and sell land at auction. I'm your host, Tyler Tissue, and joining me on my left here, Brian Haugen. Brian, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience here today? Hey, good morning, Tyler. It's great to be here. Uh, my name's Brian Haugen. I'm the broker here and the auction manager for today's auction sale. Very good. Look forward to hear what you have to say here in a little bit. We also are going to have Alex Wayne, our agronomy expert, is going to be showing up in the same spot here in a little bit. But before that, I have Craig Borchard on my right here. Craig, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience as well? Thank you, Tyler. Good morning. My name is Craig Borchard. I'm the consulting director at Ascent Financial. And at Ascent Financial, we help farmers and agribusiness with transition and estate planning and help advise them on significant and complicated transactions. Very good. Well, I'm looking forward to looking uh, to hearing about some of the financial analysis you do later in the show. We have an exciting auction here today. We'll be selling the Georges Family Living Trust Farm. This is located in Redwood County in Minnesota, and it's 82.31 acres more or less. This will be offered in one track today. This farm is located in Section 3 of the Willow Lake Township in South Central Minnesota, south of Redwood Falls, and southeast of Wabaso, Minnesota. But before we get started, we like to introduce, introduce you to what we call the Land Market Update. This is where we bring you the most up-to-date recent sales across the region, the state, as well as some direct local comps. And the first one we have for you today is in Douglas County, Illinois. 106 acres sold for $17,600 per acre. And next, we're going to my home state of Iowa, O'Brien County. 112 acres sold for $19,500 per acre. And then Sioux County, Iowa. 80 acres sold for $20,300 per acre. So some phenomenal sales across the region there. So we can still see some great sales happening that way. Now we're in Minnesota, Steele County, 111 acres sold for $13,900 per acre. Then we're moving on to Freeborn County, Minnesota. 160 acres sold for $16,500 an acre. And next, Dodge County. 153 acres sold for $16,100 per acre. So some phenomenal sales so far in the region and the state. And now we're going to do some direct comps. The first one we have is in Renville County, Minnesota. 80 acres with an 81.6 CPI sold for $13,700 per acre. Then Redwood County, Minnesota. 80 acres with a 91 CPI sold for $10,625 per acre. So phenomenal sales are still happening across the, the region, the state, as well as some direct comps. But before we get started, I have our auction manager here today, Brian Haugen. Brian, I know you know a lot about this farm. You've been dealing with this thing here for a little while. Why don't you tell the, the people in the audience a little more about it? Yeah, thanks, Tyler. Uh, first of all, I'd uh, like to say I'm honored to be here to represent the Georges family. Mm -hmm. Um, we have 82.31 plus or minus acres. Uh, those are the deeded acres, okay? We'll be selling the farm on the deeded acres today. Uh, the tillable acres, if you follow along, you can take a look at your FSA map. Now, the FSA map has a sliver of land from the parcel to the west. So we talked with the FSA, and we're estimating this at 82 plus or minus acres of tillable, tillable farmland. So uh, the, the FSA acres ha has just a few more acres on it, but it's because of that sliver from the neighbor to the west. So CPI, most important part of normally what we talk about, and I'm not going to take Alex's thunder because he knows a lot about agronomy and a lot about soils, but I'm just going to say this, this has a CPI, strong CPI for the area, 82.9. Highly productive soils. Again, Alex will get into them in just a bit. We have natural drainage. There is slope on this farm, as you can see if you look at the topography map. The, uh, so y we have that natural drainage occurring. And if you look uh, on the map, we have a, a, a public ditch to the west side of the farm. Now, uh, there is some tile that I'm told that is ran to there, two or three strings and the spots are needed. We do not have tile maps today, but uh, I was out there when I was droning and walking the farm when we uh, first began our, our, our journey here. We could, we could see the tile was actually running because winter never showed up here, and uh, <laughs> those tile lines were running, and there's, 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 there's outlets into that drainage ditch. Very good. So we're disclosing we do not have a tile map, but there is some tile in the farm. So great location, like you said, just southeast of Wabasso, north of Redwood Falls, kind of by Morgan, out in that kind of prime spot. There's a lot of prime, prime farmland, a lot of large farms. Um, this farm, just off Highway 71, so you have great access, nearby grain elevator and co-op, just right up the road. 
Uh, we stopped in there and talked to all those folks. So if any of any of them are watching, thanks for all the information. They said, uh, you know, this is a great area. We learned a lot by talking to a number of the folks out in the area. So um, real estate taxes on this one, this is what I want to point out, $2,892 per acre. Uh, divide that out over the 82 point uh, so, some odd acres, and you're down about $35 per acre. Mm. Almost to your Iowa taxes oh, there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's a lot better than, than yeah. uh, most of them I see in Minnesota. Yeah. That, that's, <laughs> so the, the real estate taxes are fair on this parcel. So uh, the investors, we have many, many people watching, many, many people registered to bid online. So you can uh, plug that into the equation for your returns. That's a, that's a, that's a favorable tax number. Yeah. No, it definitely is. So. Definitely is. Well, thank you very much, Brian, for all that information. We do want to welcome all of our on site and online bidders. Thank you for joining us here at AuctionCast. I would like to point out a few things to our viewers. Make sure you're aware of the documents online about today's farm. These are located in the Documents tab of the bidding screen or on our website under the property. At any time, if you'd like to bid by phone, have any technical issues, or have questions, please call the number on your screen. Our auction managers, Brian Haugen, and the rest of our team are ready to answer your questions and take your bids over phone, via text, or by email. Many of you may also continue to bid online anytime during the broadcast of this auction sale by clicking the bid button. I'd also like to take a, um, this moment to introduce our auctioneers for today, Greg and Sonny Jensen. Greg has been in the land auction business for over 50 years and brings a wealth of experience with them to AuctionCast. And Sonny Jensen is a third generation auctioneer with a number of achievements under his belt already in his career. So thank you for joining us here at auction, AuctionCast and let's get this auction started with our auctioneer, Mr. Greg Jensen. Uh Thank you very much, Tyler. Uh, I'm Greg Jensen, and I'm going to read the terms and the conditions of the sale here today. Uh, the method of sale, bidding will be dollars per deeded acre unless otherwise indicated by the auctioneer. Deeded acres may change because of a survey or other factors, in which case the total sales price will be adjusted to reflect that. The seller reserves the right to accept or reject any or all bids. The auction company and the seller reserve the right to preclude any person for bidding if there's any concern as to the person's credentials or fitness to bid or enter into a contract. Agency, Land Pros Real Estate LLC and its agents represent the seller. The taxes, 2024 taxes, will be paid by the buyer as taxes are current now in Minnesota. Conditions, the sale is subject to all easements, restrictions of record, covenances, leases, each bidder is responsible for conducting their own inquiries and due diligence efforts at their own risk concerning the subject property. All property as is sold as is where is with no warranties. Contract and title. Uh, immediately upon the conclusion of the auction, the highest winning bidder will enter into a real estate contract purchase agreement and provide funds for earnest money to be deposited with the real estate and the auction company. Seller will provide updated abstract or owner's title policy and with clear title at their expense. Sale is not contingent upon buyer's financing. The closing date is on or before April 15, 2024. Uh, terms and possessions, $50,000 down, non-refundable. Today, uh, the balance is due at closing on or before April 15, 2024. Uh, there will be a 2% buyer's premium added to the final purchase price. Possession at closing, subject to tenant's rights. Uh, I think it is leased out for this year. Uh, the tillable farmland is leased for 2024, and the buyer will receive that income. Uh, online bidding starts February 28, 2024, which is right now. <laughs> it's already started. Seller reserves the right to accept or reject any or all bids. Any statement made day of auction takes precedence over previous material. All information provided herein was obtained from sources deemed reliable, but neither the auction nor the auction company uh, guarantees its accuracy. I'm going to turn this over to Sonny Jensen right now, who is going to start the auction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get going. Here we go. We got 7,000. Who'd give me eight? And now seven. Now pay down, eight down, out of them deer. Down 7,000. Eight down, out of them deer. Down eight down, out of them deer. And now seven. Give me eight. Down eight thousand, out of them deer. Down eight down, out of them deer. And now seven. Give me eight. Down eight down, out of them deer. Down eight, out of them deer. Down eight, out of them here. Down eight, out of them eight thousand. Now wait, out of them eight here. And now seven, eight. How many of them eight here? Down eight thousand, out of them deer. Down eight here. Down eight, out of seven, eight. And now seven thousand, eight thousand, out of them deer. Down eight thousand, out of them deer. Down eight here. Down eight, out of them eight, 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 out of them deer. Down eight thousand. And now seven. 
seven eight. How many of them eight thousand out of them deer down eight here? How many of them seven thousand eight thousand out of them deer? And now seven eight. How many of them eight here down eight out of them deer down seven grand eight grand? And now seven thousand eight thousand out of them deer down eight here. How many of them eight thousand out of them deer? And now seven eight. How many of them eight thousand out of them deer? Bear number ten thousand. You're out then. And now seven. I'm eight. And now seven out of them deer down eight out of them deer down eight thousand out of them deer down eight here. How many of them seven eight? How many of them seven thousand eight thousand out of them deer? And now seven eight. How many of them seven out of them deer down eight out of them deer down seven eight? How many of them eight out of them deer? And now seven. Give me eight down seven thousand eight thousand out of them deer down seven thousand. Got to be eight. And now seven thousand eight thousand out of them deer down seven thousand out of them deer down eight thousand out of them deer. And now seven eight. How many of them eight thousand out of them deer down eight out of them eight thousand eight thousand eight thousand deer down eight thousand out of them deer down seven. Got to be eight. And now seven thousand eight thousand seven eight. How many of them eight thousand out of them deer? And now seven thousand eight thousand. Now seven eight. How many of them seven thousand out of them deer down eight? And now seven grand eight grand. How many of them seven thousand out of them deer? Now's the time. And now seven eight. How many of them seven thousand out of them deer down eight thousand out of them deer? And now seven eight. How many of them seven thousand eight thousand? How many of them seven seven out of them eight thousand out of them deer? Now seven eight. And now seven seven. Seven eight, how many of them eight thousand deer down eight thousand deer down eight thousand? And now seven, I'll eight, how many of them eight thousand out of deer down seven? Got to be eight. And now seven thousand eight thousand out of them deer down eight thousand out of them deer down eight. How many of the seven grand seventy five? And now try seventy five. Now seven thousand seventy five five hundred bit of seventy five hundred out of them deer. And now seven grand seventy five. Not a bit of them five five hundred bit of them five out of them deer. Seven grand seventy five. And now seven grand seventy five. Let's roll seven thousand out of them deer down seventy five out of them deer down seven grand seventy five. We got seven. Got to be seventy five. Now seven seventy five. And now seven thousand out of them deer down five out of them deer down seven grand. Seventy five. And now seven grand seventy five. Not a dear down five here down five. Not a dear down five five five. Not a bit of seven grand seventy five. And now seven grand seventy five. Down seven thousand. Not a dear down five. Not a dear. And now seven grand. Give me seventy five hundred. Seven grand seventy five. And now seven grand seventy five hundred. Not a dear down five. Not a dear down five. Not a dear down five five. Not a dear down seven grand seventy five. And now seven seven seventy five. Not a bit of them here down five. Not a bit of them here down seven grand seventy five. Not a bit of them here down seven grand seventy five. And now seven grand. We're going five hundred bucks a piece. If here down seven hundred down. Not a dear down five. Not a bit of seven grand seventy five. And now seven grand seventy five. Not a dear down seven thousand. Not a dear down five. Not a dear down five. Not a dear down seven grand seventy five. And now seven grand seventy five. Let's roll down seven thousand. Not a dear down five. Not a dear down seven grand seventy five. And now seven grand seventy five hundred out of them deer down five hundred out of them deer down five 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 out of seven grand seventy five and now seven grand seventy five seventy five seventy five not out of them deer down seven thousand not out of them deer down five and now seven grand seventy five hundred out of them deer down five five out of it at seven thousand not out of them deer down five and now seven thousand out of them deer down five out of them deer down seven thousand seventy five 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 out of it at seventy five hundred out of them deer and now seven grand give me seventy five hundred out of them deer down five out of them deer down five five out of it at seven grand seventy five hundred out of them deer and now seven grand seventy five out of them deer down five five out of it at seven grand seventy five and now seven grand. Seventy five down five hundred out of them deer down five out of them deer down five and now seven grand give me seventy five hundred down seventy five out of them deer down five out of them deer and now seven grand seventy five hundred out of them deer down five out of them deer down five 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 out of them seven grand seventy five hundred out of them deer and now seven grand seventy five out of them deer down seven thousand out of them deer down five out of them deer down seven grand seventy five ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna take a little recess I'm gonna turn it over to Tyler and those gentlemen over there and they're gonna talk about the farm Tyler take it away thank you very much there Sonny so. We're at $7,000 an acre, asking 7500 here, but we did bring in one of our agronomy experts here, Alex Wayne, so he's going to talk to you about some of the agronomy aspects, but Alex, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience here today and tell them a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm Alex Wayne. I've been in the agronomy business for, oh, since 2012, so it's been a while. Um, I graduated with a soils degree um, and, and agronomy, and I've been an agronomist ever since. I own a seed dealership. When we start talking about soils, I'm very well aware, yep. especially in southern Minnesota, on how soils perform. Um, you know, yeah, you, yeah you, that's your background. That's, that's you my background. Yeah, I mean, you, you, own a, you own a seed dealership. People are going to talk to you about that yep. stuff, right? Yep. So we, we start looking at the soils on this farm, right, Tyler? Yep. And it's got a great CPI, 82.9. You know, you, you start digging into the actual soils, though. Most of it is loam soil. And when you're talking about loam soil, so you got 40% sand, 40% silt, 20% clay. So you get the best of all worlds. Mm -hmm. And you start looking at the CPIs of the actual loams, they're all in the 90s. You oh, know? Yeah. And, and you've got your natural drainage as well with the slopes on this farm. But um, loams, they just naturally drain. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they hold water well, too, because you've got that 20% clay. And we need that this year. Yeah, <laughs> we need that this year. We've got a dry year this year. I mean, at least it's certainly turning out to be that way with no real winter for any of us up here. Yep. <laughs> and then you start talking about loams with just fertility, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to hold fertilizer very well. Um, the CECs are high. It's, it's just when you're talking about CPIs, it's great. You look at the actual soil types, though, these are very, very productive southern Minnesota soils. Yeah, so this definitely should be a, a well-producing farm. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Well, very good. Well, 
once again, we're at $7,000 an acre, asking $7,500. we are going to take a quick break, and when we get back, we're going to get right back to this auction. Welcome back to Auction Cast. So when we left, we were at $7,000 an acre. We've got seventy one now, but we're going to send this back to Sonny Jensen here, and he's going to get this auction going. So we were at 7,000, now we're at 71. We got a new bidder in the house, 71, 72. And now Pond, down to, 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 down down two 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 down there down two down there down two down seventy one seventy two and down seventy one down there down two down two down two down there down two down there down seventy one seventy two seventy one down there down here down two and down seventy one seventy two down seventy one down there down two down there and down seventy one hundred seventy two hundred down there down two down there down two 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 down there down one two and down seventy one seventy two down seventy one down there down two down there and down seventy one hundred seventy two hundred down there down two down there down two 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 down there down one two down there down one down there down two down there down one one down there down two and down seventy one seventy two now seventy one down there down two down there down two down two down two down there down two 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 down one two and now seventy one two down seventy one down there down there down one 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 down one two and now seventy one hundred seventy two hundred let's roll down seventy one down there down two down there and now seventy one hundred seventy two click in if you want at seventy one seventy two and now seventy one down there down two 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 down there down seventy one down there down better number ten thousand five is in if you're not that you're out and now seventy one hundred down there down two down there down two and now seventy one hundred seventy two hundred seventy one seventy two seventy one two and now seventy one down there down two here down there down one down one two and now seventy one seventy two two down there down two down there down two and now seventy one hundred seventy two hundred down there down two down there down two 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 down there down two down two down two down two down one down there down two and now seventy one seventy two down there down two down there down two down there down two 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 down one two and now seventy one seventy two down seventy one down there down two down there down two down there down two down two down two down there down here down one two and now seventy one hundred seventy two down seventy one down there down two and now seventy one hundred seventy two hundred down there down two 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 down two down there and now seventy one hundred seventy two hundred down there down two down there down two 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 down there down down two and now seventy one seventy two hundred give me seventy two down seventy one down there down two and now seventy one hundred seventy two hundred down there down two down there down two and now seventy one seventy two and now seventy one 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 hundred money money one one hundred million one two and now seventy one seventy two down ten one one hundred million one two and now seventy one seventy two hundred down there down two hundred down seventy two seventy two hundred down there and now seventy two gotta be one gotta be two gotta be two 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 down there down one two and now seventy one hundred seventy two hundred down there down two down there down two 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 down there down two and now seventy one seventy two down seventy one down there down two down there down two 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 down two down there down two down two down two down there down two and now seventy one seventy two 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 down there down two here and now seventy one seventy two 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 down there down two down two down two down two down there down here down two 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 down there down here down seventy one two ladies and gentlemen we're gonna take another recess I'm gonna turn it back over to Tyler and we will be right back. Thank you very much there, Sonny. So we're at 7,100. I, I think we got some people playing possum over there. Y'all need to start hitting that bid button because this is a great farm here, just like Alex just talked about here a little bit ago. This is a tremendously good producing farm here, so start hitting that bid button. But I'm going to get with my colleague here, Craig Borchard. Um, Craig, you've done some financial analysis with this farm, so why don't you tell the audience a little bit more about this about this farm in particular? Sure, Tyler. You know, we kind of take a look at this farm, and, and one of the first things I look at is what it might rent for under kind of a commercial terms. So right now it's rented for, the ne for this coming crop here at 225 per acre. But after that, it will be open to leased out to anybody. And when we look at what a commercial lease might be on this, looking at county average corn yields and kind of looking at that flex lease that I usually talk about, you yep. know, where it's about 40 percent, you know, of the production going to the, the rent over the course of the year. And that's on for beans, though, right? For, for yep, yep. For, for beans and yep. a third for corn. So in this one, we did it based off of corn, you know, but it'll average out over time to pretty similar and came up with 337.55 per acre of kind of the projected rent into the future. Now, this also looks at how this might perform over a very long period of time. So what, what it would we think we'd return over a 10-year period of time if we consider that crop prices are go up a certain percent each year for the last 50 years, factoring that in, and the average appreciation of land over the last 50 years. You know, taking that rent and that land appreciation, you know, over that 10-year period of time, we project a 10-year annualized average return of 14.33%. Which is a phenomenal, I mean, you're almost 15% return, which is yep. way better than obviously like your index funds and stuff that you get out there. I mean, so for some of you investors who are sitting out there, we, we know you have some, some of you guys that are sitting there online. This is a tremendous return here that's going to be on this farm here. And 
obviously right now this is a very good buy here this is this is a low price here we know there's some we know there's a lot more meat left on this these bones than this one um but 15 percent return over time Absolutely. and that's i mean how could you that's you, huge that's, that's a huge return there yeah. i mean so yeah i mean you guys got to start hitting the bid button on this one this is a tremendously good farm a great producing farm and as you can see right there that's going to be a great investment over time as well but um so thank you very much, Craig. I don't know if you anything else you want to add there, but uh, um, thank you very much here. We're going to uh, just looking at this here. So we're at $7,100 an acre here. And just like Alex was talking about here um, just a little bit ago, um, this is an 85, 86 CPI farm. This is, I mean, this is a tremendously good farm here, folks. And right now we've got, you know, we've got 7,100, which is, which is a phenomenal, you know, price here for, for this one. It's a very, it's low for this thing here. There's definitely a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of being that should be going on there for this, for this farm here right now, because it's a great, great farm. But um, Alex, as, as you said here, you know, the soils, it's got some tremendously good soils. It's got, yeah. you know, it's got uh, some great drainage and it's got, uh, it even has a little bit of tile that's, you know, in this farm as well here. So, so we know we got a, great producing farm when we know we have a great investment in a farm as well that we can see from all yeah. of this here. And Tyler, as we've said before on auctions, a farm's only as good as its outlet, right? And we know there's an outlet there. There's a county ditch on the west end. Um, very easily throw some laterals at it. You're going to have a really high producing farm. Um, you start, these soils drain naturally, but you start doing some improvements on farms like this, you can see major yield bumps. Yeah. Um, and especially in certain soils, like our loams that are a little heavier, um, clay loams especially, um, which there are, there, there's, a, there's a variety, but overall, if you did some improvements on this farm, it, and it, it's very productive the way it is, but it can get better. Well, you you know how to make these farms even yeah, better. So yep. that's uh, you know that's why that's why you folks who are sitting out there looking to even do a little bit more, you need to get a hold of Alex and he'll help you improve that farm even better. But uh, but right now uh, we are at seventy one hundred dollars an acre asking seventy two. We're gonna take a quick break and when we come back, we're hoping some of you folks start hitting the bid button because we're gonna t we're gonna be right back here getting back at this auction here in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're at eight thousand dollars. Who give me eighty one? Now wait that down to eighty one. And now eight thousand eighty one. Now one thousand eighty one down to eighty one. And now eight thousand eighty one. Now one thousand eighty one. Eight thousand eighty one. Now one thousand eighty one. Eight thousand eighty one. Now one thousand eighty one. Eight 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 thousand eighty one. E
We ended up selling this thing for $8,000 an acre, and with the 2% buyer's fee, it's a total of $671,649 an acre. So great sale there. We had to work hard for this one here. We appreciate all of your patience there, and we would like to thank all of our bidders that came to participate today. Congratulations to our winning bidder, and we'd like to especially thank our sellers for trusting us to auction off your property today. If you are not a winning bidder this morning, remember, we have plenty of auctions that are coming up. Later today at 1 o'clock, we have 284 acres in Redwood County here, right here on AuctionCast. Then on March 28th at 2 p.m., we have 37.35 acres in Floyd County, Iowa. That will be online only. And on the same day, we have 20.98 acres in Decatur County, Indiana. That's online only as well. Then on April 10th, we have 31 acres in Lesseur County, Minnesota, right here on AuctionCast. And later that day at 11 a.m., 87 acres in Goodhue County, Minnesota, right here on AuctionCast as well. And later that day at 1 p.m., 137 acres in Rock Island County, Illinois, right here on AuctionCast. Our auction manager, Brian Haugen, will be in touch with the winning bidder here. So he's going to give you a call here shortly. Um, folks, if you're thinking about buying or selling, keep Land Pros at the top of your list. You can connect with our team at LandPros.com or the number on your screen at any time. Thanks again for joining us here at Land Pros Auction Cast, and have a great rest of your day.